So when we first got a sudden death investigation call, the most important thing is when we talk to the producer and get a really good feel for the history. So we ask questions about the class of animal affected, how many affected, what clinical signs are they seeing? Have they just found them completely um, dead or if there's some sick and alive? Um, we ask about their vaccination and drench history. We always ask about their ration of feed they're on. Are they actually grazing or are they being supplementary fed? Um, and we also ask um, information about each, each animal and you know what it looks like at the present time. So once we've got a really thorough history, which is probably the most fundamental part of setting up a sudden death investigation, we um, always try and organise a farm visit with the producer. So when we do that, we go out on farm. Now, depending on the clinical case is depending on what we actually do first. So for instance, we might go and look at live sick animals. We might conduct clinical exams. Um, we might take urine, faeces and bloods um, and just get a really good feel of what the live animals are looking like and also compare them to the non-affected animals. Then what we might do is do a paddock drive. The paddock drive is really important so we like to look to see if there's any um, you know what they're grazing. So are they grazing lucerne, are they grazing cereals, are they gra grazing improved or unimproved pastures, are they being supplementary fed? So are they being fed on the ground or are they being fed in troughs? We also like to look at the water quality and quantity, so is it correct for the class of animal? And then we also like to look for poisonous plants as well. Once we've done that, we normally go to look at the dead animals, so the carcasses, and we'll conduct a post-mortem examination. So depending on um, where you are in relation to the anthrax belt, we'll also do an anthrax ICT test kit, which is basically a little um, test kit where we take a little bit of blood, put it in some buffer, put it into a little um, test kit, and it'll come up and say if it's positive or negative for anthrax. Most cases it's negative. Um, then basically what your district vet will do is do a thorough examination of the animal and we take a routine sample. So we take fixed and fresh samples of liver, kidney, spleen, heart and lung. And we also will send, um, so we send fresh samples away for culture and we send fixed samples away for microscopic ex examination of the architecture and see if there's any be been any changes in those organs. I also like to take aqueous humour, which is the front part of the eye, the juicy part of the eye. We can test um, calcium, magnesium, BHB, which is a ketone body, so we can get a, a gauge on if we had pregtox, for instance, in sheep or cattle. We also test for D-lactate, which is obviously associated with acidosis because rumen pH will rise really quickly after death, so we can't always get a really great gauge if it is a acute acid or subclinical acidosis as well. Um, and then we'll take other samples depending on um, what the clinical signs are. In our area, your main differentials, as most places are, um, clostridial, so Enterotoxemia or pulpic kidney is really important. Internal parasitism, so Barber's pole is a massive one, and coccidiosis, especially in lambs. Um, we look for um, metabolic things like hypercalcemia or hypermagnesemia. We look for plant poisoning, so really important in our area, pyrolizid in alkaloid containing plants, so heliotrope and Patterson's curse, because we have a really high incidence of copper toxicity in sheep. Nitrate and nitrate poisoning is also really important in livestock. We test or look for things like lead poisoning, which happens most commonly in cattle when they eat lead batteries because they like the anionic salts, um, and anthrax obviously as well. So it's really important for producers to call us and let us know when they're getting sudden death for two reasons. Um, the first one is so that you know what's going on on farm and we can put treatment and, pro and preventative measures in place for you, but also it's your bottom line and it's all part of your rates. So if you can call your district vet, we can come out, have a look at your animals. It's all part of your rates.